At the western edge of a fallen world lies a cliffside village. Config loaded gamepad. Harboring the last survivors of the human race, those who chose exile over death. They train day and night, confined to their hideout, their legacy cursed, survival, their sole purpose. Legend warns of the demon army, bound to strike again, eager to completely eradicate humans. Fortunately, legend also tells of a hero flying in from the western ocean to bring protection and knowledge. On a day that begins like so many others, a young ninja is about to be visited by the western hero. And sent on a perilous journey into this merciless world to carry a scroll paramount to the clan survival. This is The Messenger. Hi everybody. Welcome to First 20 here on Steven Plays. My name is Steven George. I play video games and every Friday it's the first 20 minutes or so of a game. Today we are taking a look at The Messenger and uh, this, this actually comes to us courtesy of two people. I had two different folks send me this game at just about the exact same time. So I wound up with two copies. Uh, so thanks both to uh, Shane Leith and also Jam, who sent me copies of the Messenger almost simultaneously. Uh, this game has done very well since it came out. It reminds me, just looking at video clips, it reminds me of Ninja Gaiden. Um, but there's some twists involved, and also it has a very good sense of humor. I'll take a look at the options here. Uh-huh. Pixel perfect resolution. This all seems fine. And there's controls. I assume that they'll probably teach me, but maybe not. If it's not, if it's like Ninja Gaiden, you can move, light foot, jump, rope, attack, shuriken. Okay, yeah, this seems fine. Let's 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 jump into this and find out what the messenger is all about. Now I'm playing this on PC, but this game is also available for Switch, PS4, and Xbox One. What is your name? Uh. How many? Okay. Um. How about? He has returned. You sure? Your name is Far Gothic. Are you sure? You remember when Far Gothic was a ninja? Was that before or after he was Santa's grandson? The timeline is a little fuzzy. Another day, and still no sign of this so-called Western hero. Training used to be fun, but all we do now is memorize boring prophecies. Demon army this, and magic scroll that. Nothing's happened in centuries, so why are we still hiding? I wish I could just leave this place and go explore the world. Gather around, everyone. The history lesson is about to begin. Oh great, another lecture. I guess I should at least show up this time. His name's Far Gothics, he's a ninja. He will stab you and it will hurt. He can jump high, he can hit you. He can throw you in the dirt. All right, Far Gothics. So I've, uh... So let me line up, I guess. Right on time to try the new course. Show up, show us your cloud step technique. Jump, hit, jump. Oh, so you do have a double jump, but you have to hit something. Okay. Got it. That's really interesting. All right. Also, I really like the, the tutorial section of like, you're following along someone else doing it because it in the scope of the, the game, it makes sense, because it's a training thing. Well, look who decided to grace us with their presence. Have you done your reading? Ever the rebel. What's the point? All we do is rot in this hideout anyway. I see that the importance of our ancestors' wisdom is lost on you. But let me assure you that the threat of the demon army is very real, and should they...
They have returned! This is all wrong. The Western hero was supposed to save us. Watch out! Everyone's dead! Old man! Don't go. You... you are not ready. I mean, you gonna want me to, like, die? Oh, yeah, I can, like... Look at that! I can... look, I figured it out. I can jump forever. Old man, I'll be fine. Oh, God. Burn it all! Bring the humans to their knees! Not so fast, big boy. Oh, and who might you be? Are you really all they've got? Pathetic. Prepare to die! That sound. Impossible. Sorry, I'm late! It's me, Western Hero! It seems luck is with you this day. Barmathazal! Yes, my king. Keep an eye on this worm. Certainly, my king. Count your blessings, ninja. My minions will make short work of you in the Autumn Hills. Are you... The Western Hero? Yeah, something like that. Uh, to be honest, I got here way too late. Uh, as you look like the most capable around here, I have a task of the utmost importance for you. Take this scroll and carry it across the island. You need to reach Glacial Peak Summit, where three sages will be waiting for you. But who are you? And why is this scroll important? They have finances along the way, and for the village now, uh, the Shroud of Night will be your only protection to make it through the Autumn Hills. Godspeed, messenger! You got scroll. You have been chosen to be the messenger, tasked with carrying the scroll across your cursed world. I have to get the scroll to the place that he said. Glacial Summit. Glacial Peak. Glacial... This is glacial something. It's a mountain. The, the mountain with the snow. I'm sure. I'll figure it out. I like that retro, that retro fanfare. Give me that treasure. Oh, hold on. I didn't. There we go. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'm good. Oh god, ah! No! I took too many hits there. Okay, I can duck. Also, enemies respawn the minute you scroll off screen. Good to know. Alright, I have to... get in here. I'm gonna play this a lot safer. These guys don't seem to attack, which is nice. I can fall through platforms. Nope. Oh, God! I thought that was coming all the way to the left. Notice that to... to... Oh, a new customer! What happened? I almost died just there. Strictly speaking, you did. Huh? But how? My name's Corbel. Corbel? At your service. I'm the one you never would have met, had you any skills. The gist of it is, I have a magic ring that allows me to control space and time. So, whenever you're about to die, I will appear to stop everything and teleport you back to the latest checkpoint. Okay, what's the catch? Well, for one, you will still feel agonizing pain every single time. Also, I'm keeping track of your debt in my little notebook. So I'll stick around to steal your loot until either we're even, or I'm bored. I mean, I can let you die if you prefer. Seems we have a deal. Glad we see eye to eyes. Carry on, then. Eye of the shareholder. Alright, so now I have to do this again. And I only have three hearts this time. Dang. Okay. So, basically, do better. Oh, that refills my health. Okay. And all of the stuff that I have destroyed is still... destroyed. 
Well, I'll probably almost certainly do better the second time. I just need my treasures back. There we go. Gotcha. Okay, this time I will not fall into the spikes. Oh, Corbel's gone! Oh, I paid Corbel off! Alright, Corbel. What? 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 Ah, the messenger. I wasn't expecting you so soon. What is this place? This is the shop. It doesn't look like a shop. Do I look like a shopkeeper? Anyways, so I'm this mystic character who will be mentoring and supporting you on your epic quest to save the world. All you need to do is take the scroll to the top of a faraway mountain where three sages from my, from my order will be waiting for you. Your order? Slow down. That, that was way too much text for one dialogue box. Look! Just keep going eastwards and make sure you grab all these time shards you see lying around and I can use them to upgrade your abilities and artifacts. First one is on the house. Enjoy. You got the climbing claws. Press against walls while airborne to stick to them. Need anything? Chat. What do you want to chat about? The climbing claws. So climbing claws. No, oh, yeah, you can press against walls to cling to them and climb at your leisure. Makes sense. The way everything looks, it just felt like I should be able to do that. Yes, that's why John Guyton invented them decades ago. Who's John Guyton? Ne never mind. Just an acknowledgement I needed to get out of the way. I don't get it. Some will. What do you want to chat about? What is this place? Seriously, though, where are we? Curious. Are we? In time, you will uh, come to realize that the question is not where, but when. That's it? Listen, I know you're still new to this, but you have to be pretty naive to expect anything other than the cryptic information so early in your adventure. Wouldn't you rather go back into the action anyway? Just buy a health upgrade or something and be on your way. Kids these days. You have any, you have any stories? <laughs> of course! Here's one for you. There once was a servant who didn't know how to read. The day came where his master asked him to read something for her, to which he replied, I'm sorry, my lady, I can't read. That reply immediately got him fired. So he went out in the streets looking for a tea house to relax and accept the bad news. When he couldn't find any, he reckoned he probably wasn't the only one to wish there was a tea house in a small town, so he opened up his own. It really picked up, so he built many more and became rich in the process. One day, his accountant asked him to review a piece of, doc of document to which he replied he didn't know how to read. The accountant, who couldn't believe his ears, said, If you became a millionaire without even knowing how to read, just imagine where you would be if you could read. Oh, I know exactly where you would be, the rich man replied. Or where I would be, the rich man replied. I would be a servant. The end. What? I don't see how this applies to my my adventure. It doesn't! You asked for a story! More like the long version of When Life Gives You Lemons. Alright, since you don't seem to appreciate me sharing some clever material for your next party, I suggest you move along. Do I... Can I upgrade anything? I can barely upgrade my energy shuriken. Uh, HP plus one. Concealed arm guards make you more resistant. Uh, enemy... Attack enemy projectiles. Empower your attack, letting you destroy enemy projectiles. You can even cloud step off of that. Yes, that is the most important thing. Reduce Corporal's Fine for saving your life by 50%. That's probably worthwhile eventually, but this... Yeah. You can stop enemy projectiles by hitting them? Absolutely. Please don't touch the cabinet. I already told you, the cabinet is off-limits. Believe me, you're not ready for what's in there. You think you can just barge into my lab and go through my stuff like you own the place. There's no skeleton in there, I promise. Hey, don't touch. It's empty anyway. Don't make me lock it! Why don't you put that curiosity to good use in the outside world and maybe, I don't know, save humanity? If you touch that again, you'll have to sit through my boring story. I'm warning you. It's boring. It's philosophical. I'll even remove your ability to skip what I'm saying. This is your last warning. I'm just curious! You better make sure you have some time ahead of you if you're going to touch that again. Chad is screaming, do it, you won't. Thomas! You asked for it. Don't say I didn't warn you. You know, it gets...
pretty lonely out here, so I have a lot of time to think. The one thing that keeps bugging me is this concept of happiness. Everyone seems to be looking for it, some pretend to have it, but no one can really explain what it is. I think I finally cracked that code. You see, everyone has goals, so you think, oh, when I have this, I'll be happy, or when I achieve that, I'll, f I'll feel eternal bliss. Some people are looking for love or acceptance, while others simply hope Devolver will sign their kick-ass game. From my perspective, sitting here at the end of time and being visited by countless travelers, I came to realize something very important. Goals don't make people happy. They defer happiness into the future to when the goal will be achieved. This can only fail because once you reach your goal, you're not the same person you were when you set out to achieve it. And what's more, your mindset is to chase something instead of enjoying what you have. So there you have it. Happiness is not a goal or a state, it's a system. You optimize your environment and cherry pick the people around you so that every day you're just stoked to live your own life and you don't need to defer any joys because you optimize the present moment. Now, I don't know whether that was cheesy or insightful or even just annoying, but I need to optimize my own life. And that implies that you stopped trying to open my cabinet, so I really hope I bored you to death. Thanks. I can climb now! So that's good. And I can do this and get, get that cash money. Which is also important. Cool, let's proceed. And I can hit these because they're projectiles now? Yeah! Destroy all the things. Hmm. That's right! How ninja is that? The achievement is blocking my ability to see. There we go. Yeah, being being able to destroy the projectile... Ah, uh, fart. Was the right move. For sure. Because I don't have to wait for anything anymore. Take that, butthole. Keep it moving. Oh, yeah, that's right! Hmm. Hold on, I might be able to do this. Oh, I can't attack the bushes. I was like, if I could attack the bushes, I could get up there. Oh, I could just also climb. I was thinking with portals for a minute there. It was happening. Okay, those things are killing themselves. Which is convenient and good. Take that. All right, bring it on. Money, 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 money. Got you. Take that. Oh, this guy's different. Oh! Haha! -ha. Oh god, he can angle him. Okay. Moving in close for the kill. Woo! Okay, this is a safe spot, but it doesn't allow me to visit the shopkeeper again. Got him. Moving forward. I like that they did the underwater effect. Okay. Careful. Got him. I don't need that thing. That doesn't give me any points, right? No. Okay, so I will not pick those up in the future if I have full health, because I just don't need them. Crap. Oh my god, it takes away three! Oh, jeez! I really wish I would have known that. That changes some things. <sighs> the only life that matters is your last one. Ah! Ah! Oh god! Oh god! Give me that thing! Got him. Okay. We're good. Ow. That took three, two! What?! Holy crap! Did you shoot three? No, you shot two. Okay. Got that. I was ready for that guy. Take that guy out. Should be able to just crawl up here, right? Yeah. 
There we go. Oh god. Hey, buddy! I'm not going back in your closet, I promise. Need anything? Uh, yeah, I got some money now. Press A while being knocked back to do an air recovery jump. Okay. Ranged attack. Tap into your uh, mind's key charges, allowing you to throw energy shuriken. That seems like a good next step. Even more than HP. Let's do that. I still have 55, so I can still do this. Enemies will sometimes drop a globe that will restore a key charge. Let's go with that. Yep. Okay. Seems like you can upgrade stuff pretty quickly. If I hadn't died that first time and, and Corbo ate all my stuff... Are these enemies? Oh, they're, they ex... No? I think they exist just so I can hit them and get the bounce off of them. I have full health, so I don't need that. So I'll leave that there. Maybe I can come back and get it if I want it. You're in a really bad spot, man. There we go. Oh, crap. Gotcha. Woo! Take that. Uh... We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. I'm cutting through! Oh god! You're a little ankle biter. Gotcha. Whew! Not a chance! I'm really curious what a boss fight would be like. Ugh, I'm fine. There we go. There's a lot of checkpoints though. Like I'm, I'm hitting checkpoints fairly frequently. Oh crap! Well, I'll go up in a minute. That worked. That worked. Just fine. I'm back up to 56. There's definitely a rhythm to it. Like, you're incentivized to just keep moving. Because if you sit and wait, then you have to, like, deal with enemies again. Are you coming down? No, if I scroll off screen, then they're just dead. They're, they're, they don't exist. It's like a child. With object permanence. Don't see him, don't exist. Uh, there's something down here. This is fine. Cool. Ooh, what is this? Something good. What'd I get? So, it seems you're one to wander off the beaten path. What was that big green object? Oh, you mean that thing you just smashed instead of collecting. It's a power seal. There are many others like this one, but to be honest, I'm not really sure what they do. I can tell you that finding them all is optional, but if you're the kind of adventurer that likes to go for the extra challenge, you'll want to keep an eye out for the hidden rooms. And who knows, may or may not unlock an overpowered upgrade. Anyway, I'll be in my shop. I see. Okay, and I can't get down here. Okay. Yeah, there's no way, there's no way to, to go down there, so I guess I have to return. Oh no. Oh, Corbel, no! <laughs> if someone's watching, you could pretend there was input lag. <laughs> Thanks.
So, do I still have the thing? I'm gonna assume I do. I don't know for certain, but I'm gonna assume that I, I have the thing. And I need to go... Let's see, where... Shoot, that was stupid. Yeah, I'm, I'm going this direction. For a minute I was confused, I was like, which way was I going? No, you don't. You're eating up all my money, man. I was try I was trying to I was trying to do something with that cash. Oh, he's gone. Okay. I'm this must be a boss fight. Really felt like they were preparing me for that. Take that. There's another... I don't know if I have enough money to... What's this? What's with the big mysterious chest? It appeared when you smashed your first power seal. You still need to smash 44 power seals to open that. Oh, oh I see. Need anything? Uh, can I upgrade... No, I can't. <laughs> Never mind. Level boss. Looks like you're almost at the end of this area. Did I forget to mention there's a giant leaf monster guarding the exit? You did. Ha <laughs> ha! That look on your face! Don't worry, my dear adventurer. Leaf monsters only come out during a full moon. Oh, is it the full moon right now? Yes. Oh, that's, uh, I didn't mean to. Well, good luck. <laughs> okay, so we are close to a boss. Let's see. Oh, we're here. Okay, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I have, I have honed my skills, man. I've honed my skills. Hi, buddy. So what? what's the, the game plan here? Oh, God! Okay. Yeah, that's what I figured. I thought they were going to come back the other way. You're gonna come back down. Sure. Shoot. Come on back. There we go. Back. All right. I got the pattern. I got the pattern. There you go. He explode. Is it just fluid? Okay, not completely fluid. Takes you into the Forlorn Temple. Which is a different area. I think, uh, I think that's probably a pretty good stopping point. Um, I don't know if our friend will have any new things to talk about. Tell me about the current area. A oh, Forlorn Temple, huh? That's a sad one. How so? Well, I haven't paid much attention during history lessons, have you? Adventurer types rarely do, I get it. So the short of it is, that four-headed monster who would have killed you earlier if that cooler-than-you hero hadn't intervened, that's the Demon King? He brought his armies to the human realm many centuries ago and destroyed their stronghold, forcing them to retreat into hiding, and he's been sitting on their throne ever since. You mean this is all that is left of the human legacy? Oh, for what it's worth, I'm sorry. No way, I will go and take down that Demon King right now. Oh, you wouldn't be the first to try. Well, I can't just stand by while some evil monster gloats over my people's misery. Oh, you're still too weak to consider taking on even his second in command. I'm going. I bet you can't even make it to the entrance without falling into the pit. Watch me. Oh, I will. <laughs> Got any stories? Of course! Here's one for you! 
There once was a princess looking for a suitable husband. She sent an invitation to all neighboring princes, stating that the main trait she was looking for was sensitivity. Contenders came and went, attempting to pass her test. You will be my guest tonight, the princess would explain. All I need you to do is sleep on that pile of mattresses. The next morning, she would ask them how their night was. I had the best sleep of my life, each would reply, confident they had proved they didn't fear the dark or that they could be easy guests. They were all promptly dismissed. One day, an especially sensitive prince uh, reported he couldn't sleep at all. I don't know what was up with that pile of mattresses, he went on. It looked comfortable enough, but when I laid on it, it was like I had a fork stuck in my kidney. They got married the next day. Oh, everyone knows that story. There was a pee underneath the pile so that someone who's extremely sensitive wouldn't be able to sleep. Yes, but have you heard of what happened after? Huh? For the first few weeks, everything was amazing. The prince would always complain. Just the guy she asked for. When the soup wasn't too hot, it's the cutlery that was too cold. When the music wasn't too loud, the paintings were uninspired. And when the clothes were it weren't itchy, the poems were predictable. Until one day, just like that, it dawned on the princess that she was in a toxic relationship. Not only was her husband a drag, she had voluntarily picked him for exactly that reason. It dawned on her just like that. How this whole love story was nothing more than two people whose dysfunctions matched like puzzle pieces. Incredibly humble by regal standards, she realized that she was the only constant in all her problems, delved into personal growth, then got a divorce. She lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, shout out to uh, both Shane and Jam for sending this my way. I appreciate it. This is um, this is a true gem. It's fun to play. Obviously retro inspired. Uh, has an incredible sense of humor, and uh, <laughs> and I really love the shopkeeper guy. <laughs> really love the shopkeeper guy. Again, I'm playing this on PC, but it is also available for PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. And if you're choosing to pick it up on either the PC or the Switch, uh, you can use the link in the description uh, description below for Humble, which will uh, also help mail myself out, which we appreciate. And that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week for more Stephen Plays. First 20.